muscle contraction. So, systems training is based on the principle that muscles of the body will work to overcome resistance force when they are required to do so. So, again, when you do systems training repeatedly and consistently, your muscles will be stronger. So, it's also known as strength or weight training and it plays a crucial role in physical education by promoting overall health, fitness, and considerations of ano, resistant exercise. So, ginahighlight niya ang significant in enhancing muscular strength, endurance, and overall well-being. So, moving on, this is the principles of resistant exercises. So, we have here progressive overload, specificity, and rest and recovery. So, kani siya, familiar na saan ay kinatakalan niya sa previous groups. So, again, sa progressive overload, kani siya, fundamental principle niya sa resistant kaya gina-emphasize niya ang gradual increase in resistance to stimulate muscle adaptation. So, kanil siya ang principle, gina-ensure niya na continuous ang improvement in niya ma-prevent ang mga plato sa strength development. So, next is specificity. Okay, so kanil siya, nag-initation na ang training should be tailored to the desired outcome. So, kung mag-resistance exercises ka, ito na ang dapat i-target mo ang specific muscle groups o ang movement patterns na relevant sa inyong mga fitness goals or athletic performance na gusto ma-achieve. So, lastly is rest and recovery. So, kailangan nyo ito ang adequate na rest and recovery para optimal results ang ito ang makuha sa resistance training. So, ang muscles na ito, kailangan siya ang time to repair and grow stronger after being subjected to resistance. So, kailangan balance ang ito ang workout intensity and rest days para ma-prevent ang overtraining o ma-reduce ang risk of injuries. Okay, so next would be the benefits of the types of fun resistance training. So in a resistance exercise, there are five benefits which are increased muscular strength, second, improved muscular endurance, third, bone health, fourth, metabolic benefit, and fifth, enhanced functional capacity. So first is increased muscular strength, which is the resistance exercise leads to the development of muscle of muscular strength by challenging the muscles to overcome resistance. So, there is increase increase the resistance exercise of strength sa isa ka tao na mag-resist sa daily activities, sports performance, or ma-prevent siya sa injury while gahin mo sa physical activities. So, second is improved muscular endurance. So, muscular endurance, the ability of muscles to sustain repeated contractions over time. It is enhanced through resistance training. So, this, this movement contributes to better stamina, reducing fatigue during prolonged physical activities. So, ang improved muscular endurance is gina help niya ang atong body nga ma-endure ang kalisod sa isa ka physical activity nga ginimo sa isa ka tao. So, third is the bone health. Resistance exercise has a positive has a positive impact on bone density and can help prevent conditions such as osteoporosis. Weight bearing resistance activities stimulate bone formation, enhancing overall skeletal health. So, um, resistance exercise for this ga help po, para may improve ang ato ang bone strength para di tadali ka ng arthritis or magka osteoporosis sa ato ang life. So, the fourth one is metabolic benefits. Engaging in regular resistance exercise can boost metabolism leading to increased calorie expenditure and improved weight management. Additionally, it helps regular, regulate blood sugar levels reducing the risk of two di type 2 diabetes. So, ang metabolic benefits sa resistance exercise is gina padali niya ang pag-absorb sa ato ang body sa mga nutrients na makatabang para ma-improve ang, ang ato ang metabolic system. So, fifth is enhanced functional capacity. Resistance exercise improves overall functional capacity by enhancing coordination, balance, and flexibility. This in turn translates to improve performance in daily activities and reduces the risk of falls and injuries. So, just like sa number two, improve muscular endurance, ang enhanced functional capacity is gahelp sa atong body nga, i-endure niya ang 
ang mga difficult physical activities para ma-prevent nato ang any injuries na maka-damage sa ito ang body. So, I'm going to talk as the example of resistance exercises. So, resistance exercises training involve pushing or pulling against the resistance of an object. So, it can include your own body weight. You can use dumbbells, anything that, that is half weight. And the uh, resistance training is more focuses on repetition, reps, rather than overloading the weight on exercise. So there are two types of resistance exercise. First, the isolated. It is focusing on muscles. It is focusing on one muscles and one joints. So for example, nilo okay, kaya na like kung ka mag bicep curl ka. Ang um, ego lang sa mo kay ang biceps so it focus so ang isolated kay na focus lang siya sa one muscle ko kung magbuhat kay isa ka exercise na resistance and next is the compound or targeting two or more muscles in joints in one exercise routine so kung uh, ang example lang eh, kay kanang push up o planking so pag mag push up ka na possibility na maigo ang imong muscle diri sa hands the either sa bicep tapos ang imong pong chest so may go niya ang two or more muscles or joints like for planking may go niya ang imong lower body pati pala ang imong mga legs o ang imong heels so mao na ang two types of resistance exercise next ang um, example sa uh, resistance exercise so kinaingon din niya na ang resistance exercise is more focused siya sa push and pull or repetition like ina it increases the strength of our body by doing an exercise on more on repetition, like more on endurance. So building the strength while also building the endurance to sustain the strength exercise. So first example ana kay ang squats. So in doing squats like wala ka naka exert of another like wala naka exert of more weight but more on repetition siya like kabalo na tatanan ko sa ang squat like Squat, so what is that? So squat next is the push up. Also in push up, gonna wala kay ginagamit na another weight, but also but nga involve lang siya sa all your body weight. So push up, so nga improve ang strength. Like sa mga example study, and gonna improve ang strength. So like gonna improve po lang endurance to perform a muscular strength exercise. So next is bed over room. So lunges like ato mga magalana sa yes so so wala na mga guys so dinai dinai pro so na repetition sa lunges no dinai pro ang strength ang lower body like more more repetition you have like more more quality improvement you have in resistance exercise so blocking naga dina kuan dina improve niya ang ato ang lower body ang ato upper body ug ang ang ato ang mga pangot so next Resistance bands, so mga yung kita ka po mong like kung madawag mo like you are using a bands like stretching so and ang bands po kay it has different strength or kilogram depende sa bands o siya siya pagkakon o siya siya ka-elastic sa bands so arm braces ka po mag gamit ka o mga dumbbell or anything dumbbell like ang explanation ka niya magamit ka bricks na something that have a weight so pag tayo man dala ka o dumbbell o kaya anything na may weight tapos i-aaral mo siya like like ato the more repetition you have like the more improvements sa strength inside endurance yung mga to perform a muscular activity next is the chest press kung magamit ka o dumbbell tapos mag-indya tapos so more on repetition yun siya so resistant exercise so the more repetition you have the more develop ang strength or the more develop ang endurance or Last is the dumbbell chopper. Tapos next, in doing a resistance exercise, so natin, there is a consideration for doing resistance exercise. First is the proper technique. So, emphasizing proper technique is crucial to ensure the effectiveness of resistance exercise and reduce risk injury student should receive guidance of operate for execution of various exercises. So in execution of different of this example of exercise, so you need to have a proper, proper like technique, like proper execution, like kapag dili na mga pataka sa pagwadu, like kamo na sa repetition, so nagin like proper form na, like proper form sa body, like proper form kung 
Masakal siya pag demo para mas... The more effective, like kung naka proper technique, the more you build the right muscle, the more it... Or it can improve the muscle sa, in a short time. So, muna ang benefits kung naka proper technique in doing exercise. So, next is the individualization. So, resistance training program should be tailored to individual fitness levels, goals, and existing health conditions. So, and... And doing these examples of exercise, so identify mo na kung saan mo mga magamit na exercise based on your own capability, based on your strength, or based on your own health condition. So, kung pati na po pag-execute mo ano kung pila siya ka mga repetition o pila ang duration mo. So, it depends on your own, on your own health or capability. So, dilit mo siya pili ni overload kung dilit mo makaya sa iyong body. So, next, warm up and cool down. Incorporating a proper warm-up and cool-down is essential for preparing the body for exercise and aiding the recovery. So, and doing this kind of exercise, like you have a proper day or, or what day you need to execute the exercise, like delicia po yun like every day. So, ang um, ginasuggest yun na, and na mag-perform is, ang uh, pinaka-basic is, which is three times a week yun, like night. Like for this day, like exercise ka and then, Next na po, na dyan kayo cool down or na dyan yung pakuway. So, dyan siya pwede mag-exercise then exercise na po. Like, you have a time to relax or to, for the muscle to recover. And that's all. So, to summarize everything in our topic, which is the resistance exercise. Resistance exercise is any exercise that causes the muscles to contract against an extreme, extreme external resistance with the expectation of increases in strength tone, mass, and or endurance. The external resistance can be dumbbells, rubber exercise, tubing, your own body weight, bricks, bottles of water, or any other object that causes the muscle to contract. Resistance exercise is a vital component of physical education, offering a multitude of benefits for overall health and fitness. By understanding and applying the principles of progressive overload, specificity, and rest, Students can optimize their training programs and enjoy the long-term advantages of resistance exercise. With proper guidance and individualization, resistance training becomes a valuable tool in promoting a healthy and active lifestyle.